truth is high higher still is truthful living ek oonkar sat na karta purkh nirpa nirvair akal murat juni sai pang गुर प्रसाद जप आद सच जुगाद सच है पी सच नानक होसी पी सच एंड सो बिगिन्स द ओपनिंग वर्स ऑफ द गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी द सीख होली स्क्रिप्चर्स इट इज इन द गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी that the divine message and spirit of the 10 gurus is encapsulated this universal message of truth includes verses by both muslim and hindu saints the scriptures are the eternal guru for the sikhs the foundations of the religion were laid by guru nanak dev ji whose light was carried through nine successive ordained gurus truth is high Higher still is truthful living said Guru Nanak This divine message crystallizes the very essence of Sikhism truthful living which emphasizes compassion humility honesty and selflessness How can this be realized through Gristi Jeevan Sikhs are required to live a worldly life within the family and work domain A life of ascetic isolation or of celibacy is not approved and one can achieve liberation through living and working within society. Sikh gurus made a radical departure from old embedded inequalities, a process which Guru Nanak Dev ji established. Women were given equality. The caste system was abolished. Holy scriptures hitherto denied to the common masses were made accessible via the new Gurmukhi script. Priestly hierarchy was dismantled. It was with these measures that the seeds of truthful life were sown. For many centuries, Sikh history was defined by its fight against tyranny and oppression. Not only have Sikhs out of necessity fought to defend their own faith, but also other faiths they took upon themselves the safeguarding of human dignity there can be no greater sacrifice than that made by guru teg bahadur ji who gave his life for hinduism this fight against oppression was paralleled by the ideal of tolerance nowhere is this better illustrated than at the golden temple a shrine which opens its doors to all of humanity proselytization is not advocated nanak in his wisdom says if you are a hindu be a good hindu if you are a christian be a good christian the sikhs were given their identity and discipline at a unique ceremony conducted by the 10th guru at the holy city of anandpur sahib the khalsa order was created In so doing Guru Gobind Singh ji bestowed upon the Sikh religion the institution of Panch Pyare the five beloved ones The guru created the Panch Pyare in the image of himself to represent all that is honest and truthful Each religion has its own form of baptism a ceremony for establishing a connection between the mortal and the immortal this is the connection akin to a marriage with the lord held together by vows of commitment and regulated by rules ordained during baptism the sikh thus joins the kindergarten of spirituality the path ahead has yet to be charted but only through total dedication and commitment to the lord This means external discipline as well as internal. The 5 Ks instill an external identity which cannot be denied. Internally, 
the senses have to be controlled and sharpened to a level whereby purity of thought and action become natural. The discipline requires a lifestyle of cleanliness, daily prayer, honesty and charity. Intoxicants, adultery and premarital sex are totally forbidden. Sikhs are also required to follow a vegetarian diet. A harmonious balance in life is achieved through Simran and Seva, prayer and selfless service. One controls vices such as pride and jealousy, and the other instills humility. Truth is high, higher still is truthful living. To get to the truth, you must try and seek the infinite Lord's assistance. You must get on to His wavelength and then you can realize what is truth. It is important that we are compassionate, we are merciful, and we must be compassionate, forgiving and merciful towards humanity at large also towards all God's creatures. The message that Sikhism offers, like in Christianity, for everybody is, O oh Lord, give me the courage to change things that I can change. Give me the serenity to accept things that I cannot change and, O oh Lord, give me the wisdom to know the difference. Our 10th Master, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, also says, De Shiva bar moe ehe shubh karmante kabhunatar Give me this boon, O oh Lord, that I should do good and I should carry on doing good until I breathe my last. <laughs>